everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this crochet flower. I showed it on my Instagram and y'all loved it and wanted to see a tutorial. So this is that video. Look at this one that I made. Let's jump in. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this flower. I'm going to show you how to modify it because the blue one and the pink one are actually the same pattern, the exact same numbers. Uh, it's just this is a thinner yarn. So a lot of times as beginners, you guys get confused about how the yarn choice will affect the pattern. And here is an example, literally. Blue, pink, exact same numbers. This is just a lot thicker yarn, larger hook, all right? So I did this one, which is the same type of yarn as the blue, but I made it a lot smaller, uh, so. I'll have all those details for you over on my blog with a bunch of other pictures of different samples that I made. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that my videos are valuable and that you guys like them and that they're not junk. So it's really, really helpful if you guys give me a thumbs up or a little comment or however you want to do it. I don't want to force you, but it really does help. So let's jump in to the tutorial. This is a cotton yarn. I wanted to show it to you in an acrylic yarn. Just go off of the hook that it recommends. This is recommending a six millimeter. Here's my hook. This is the Clover Amore hooks. They're my absolute favorite. The way that the pattern works up is each petal is gonna take about five stitches. Multiples of five plus one. So we're gonna keep it easy and just say five, do 25 petals. So 25 times five, 125 plus one. Okay, so that's how the multiples work. So go ahead and chain 126. If you want it to be bigger, then you can add more. If you want it to be smaller, you can add less. Two, three, four, five, Okay, there's 10. I just wanna show you what the foundation chain looks like. Let the hook do the work for you. Try not to make it too loosey-goosey, but don't have them be these super tiny stitches either. Both of those will give you problems. So let the hook do the work for you and create the size of the stitch that you need. Let's do 126. All right, so I did 125, 126 for that turning chain. What we need to do next is do a single crochet in all of the stitches going all the way back down. So we're gonna skip that one. That's why we need the plus one at the end, no matter how many petals you decide to use. And we're gonna single crochet in that next chain over. And if you need a refresher on single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, both loops. All right, so single crochet all the way back to the beginning. Here is our foundation chain with single crochets all the way down. Here's our last guy here. The next step is we're gonna turn our work. And we need to chain five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. And then it's one, two, three, four. Insert your hook for a slip stitch here. And that is gonna be where we place our petals. All right, so again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four in the fifth stitch, a slip stitch, which is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, continue pulling through. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, in the fifth stitch, slip stitch. So 
So now continue that going all the way down. Now ideally, if nothing got messed up, it should be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. In the fifth one, we're placing our last slip stitch, okay? So hopefully it ended up even. To be honest with you, if this ends up with just four stitches or whatever, just go with it, okay? Don't redo all of that because of one stitch. Now, if you, you know, you're, it's goofy looking, maybe now is a chance to redo it. Uh, but I am not a proponent of ripping things out unless absolutely necessary. So I think you'll be able to make it work. Worst case, this first one is kind of goofy looking. You can make that your center. Let's turn our work. Here's how it should look. Too bad, right? All right, now here is how the petals are gonna go. We are gonna be doing our stitches inside the chain five space. We're gonna start with a single crochet Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, both loops. Followed by a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops. Now we're doing a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, two loops. That's our double crochet. Now we're going to do three treble crochets, which is, and this is all U.S. terminology. Okay, so for a treble stitch, yarn over two times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, four loops on the hook, yarn over, two, yarn over, two, yarn over, two. And again, we need three of those trebles. Yarn over two times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two, yarn over, two, yarn over, two. Last one. Two and two. Okay, now I don't like having this giant gap here. So we're gonna do another treble crochet into our second, so the basically the middle stitch underneath here. So one, two, three, four. So into that second stitch, we're gonna place a treble. Okay, so yarn over two times, bring that hook down, insert it into that second stitch, yarn over, pull through, four loops on the hook, yarn over two, yarn over two, yarn over two. And what that does is it kind of flattens out that petal a bit and gets that gap under control, <laughs> okay? So now we're gonna repeat the same side over here in this opening. So that's another three trebles. I'm gonna go a little faster. Here's number three. All right, now we are double crochet. Half double crochet. All three loops. And then a single crochet at the end here. There's our first petal. No need to slip stitch or transition. We're gonna just get started with our single crochet right in that next chain five space. So again, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, three trebles. Okay, and then the treble in that second single crochet down here, two times. So we insert our hook, grab the yarn behind, pull it through. And 
and then three more trebles. Double crochet, half double crochet, finishing off with a single crochet to finish out petal number two. And it's going to get kind of, you know, twisty curvy. Go ahead and do all of your petals in all of your chain five spaces all the way back to the beginning. I'll meet you there. So I just finished. I sat down and did it all in one fell swoop so that I could time myself. And it took me about 50 minutes to do it. And I was focused. I wasn't on my phone or <laughs> doing any, anything I shouldn't be. The next step is optional. Cut your yarn. Pull that through, tug on that so it's secure. Come back here to the beginning and reattach the yarn in here. And then we'll just weave that tail in later. So insert your hook where that was, yarn over, pull up that loop. And then I'm doing it in the back loop only because that creates that little ridge. So insert in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, keep pulling through. So again, totally optional, but I feel like it adds a really extra finished kind of touch to it. So look at the difference between this side and this side. And that's all there is to it, to get to the end, okay? So in that back loop only, we're slip stitching. Let me show you what it looks like at the end of the petal. Slip stitches can get tight really quickly, so really make sure that it's not pulling. And get these little stitches down here too. You can see the difference there. Okay, so go ahead and finish those slip stitches and I'll meet you at the end and show you how then we are going to sew it up. All right, and then I'm actually gonna run this down to the base and then leave a really long tail for us to sew with. That will just eliminate a couple of extra weaving in tails. All right, so we need a fairly long strand. I'd say make it, you know, 24 to 25 inches, two feet long or so. You'll end up trimming it at the end, but better to be safe than sorry. And you need a yarn needle. We just wanna tuck this in. So the way it's going to work is you're going to kind of roll this one up and then you're going to travel it around, like just start circul making a circle, okay? And it's kind of sometimes easier to do it from the back because you line up those single crochets. So you see that? But we of course want it to be looking nice. So um, you're going to end up kind of fussing with this a little bit. So you see how they're kind of like keeping these petals and really making a shape in the flower 
and trying to kind of keep them flat here on the bottom. You see how these are kind of running up next to each other? All right, and we're basically gonna take this and sew the bottom together. And this is gonna take, you know, a few minutes because we wanna make sure it's nice and secure, especially if you're gonna put this on a hat. This one, you know, is large. You wanna maybe put this on a bag or something like that. We don't want the rows falling off or unraveling from the middle. So I'm gonna start here and I like to run it through the base of all and kind of baste the uh, flower together. That way if I handle it, I know that it's not gonna completely fall apart. I'm gonna travel it across a little bit. And sew it together. So basically you're gonna go back and forth, you're gonna keep it nice and hidden until you feel like you have it secure. Go ahead and um, Keep sewing your flower together, weave in all those other tails, and then you're done.